chances are you've come by this video because you're one of my loyal and adored subscribers and I thank you very much if that is true and if not I wish you would join us or you have one of these UV K5 radios or a variant of that and you're looking for a little bit more to do with this radio so you can see the radio that's on the screen here there's two things that are different from the factory one. This one comes out of the box and is factory. Wow, look at that. Oh, the backlight turned off. But you notice this one, it stays on. And look at the frequency range, this is the lowest and the highest frequency that this now receives so you're interested let's show you how to grab this firmware upload it to your radio and get to playing okay look in post editing this video it ended up being like 17 minutes long and you're not going to hang around that long we just don't do that so i'm going to not show you how to update the firmware on your uvk5 because i've already made a video on that and get straight to the point on how to do it look for the link of that video in the description or at the end of this video it'll be right up here in the corner so we're going to go straight into how does this thing sound on airband now i found a firmware that was just released a few hours to a couple weeks ago i don't, I don't know a few days but it was a recent firmware update on the modded community and they claim to have greatly approved the AM receive. So that's what I wanted to try out. And we'll also check out the HF. You can monitor HF on this thing now and uh, see how that works. So here we go. All right, so here is a look at the screen and check out what happens when I plug this thing in. We get a charging indicator, which I guess the USB is putting some voltage in it i'm not sure but that is interesting all right so i went ahead and hooked the yagi up to the radio with a little adapter yagi's on top of the tower were pointed toward the repeater this way you can see the mic bar as i'm transmitting and the received signal that you get on the display this is k5 yvy testing See if we can pick up any air traffic. All right, that is not an AM. Well, so I'm a little disappointed in that. Well, more than a little, I'm highly disappointed in that. that's with the filtering off let's turn the fix back on see if that sounds any better here in a moment all in all i'm going to say the aircraft received still sucks So that was a very understandable upper sideband signal there. Let's see if we got anything. All right, we're uh, monitoring 12 meters here now. 24980, there's a net going on. That's uh, listening on the HF. Now net control should come back and we should hear them on the handheld. How about that? And this is listening connected to my two meter Yagi. Quiet. 
quite good receive. See if we can find something else. Victor Echo 6, Charlie Corbett. All right, so there's been Airband and HF. Now let's try out that um, Spectrum Analyzer or that scope. We push F5 and that takes it in to the scope. Pretty nice looking there, check that out. So what this does is you'll see right below the battery, it says FM, we turn this up. It's going to lock in on what it, what it sees as signals. And you can hit the up and down arrow to move to those. So it's on FM. If we hit the zero key, which says FM, this will change the modulation that it's receiving. So that's AM. So we can change raw we'll go through all the modulations on this thing find us another frequency there is 11 meters <laughs> they're battling for the airwaves down there let's change this to upper sideband all right i'm done playing with these radios uh that was fun and there's some different things that you can get on there that is neat because the factory one is it's a little more plain so this does add a lot to it like we've done in our other videos uh the am fix was not what i was hoping for there there was times that it sounded wonderful uh but then there's other times i guess it just all depends on where that plane's at how strong that signal is or something i'm not sure but um but with the custom firmware you do pick up a lot more frequency ranges that you can receive Although just understand you're using a $30 handheld. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be glorious, but it's going to be fun. That's what this radio has been so popular about is the fun that that thing has been bringing to people just trying different things. And you don't really have to worry about what you're uh, doing here. Um, mess it up, whatever. Yep. So you get upper side band, lower side band. Links in the description to where I got this firmware that I showed you today, and also links to where you can keep an eye on all the firmware that's released on GitHub that has UV K5, 5K, whatever in its title. It'll show up there so you can kind of keep an eye on that. If you see something that interests you that's added to the firmwares, then go ahead and upload it. So hope you enjoyed this video showing you a little bit more nothing much more but we tried a few things 73